In this video, I'm going to tell you about NAT configuration on Palo Alto Firewall again. Uh, there are many questions, even from experienced engineers, and I want to show you the key aspect you have to remember about NAT configuration. Remember, NAT happens at the end of the process. So, all the time in the destination zone in the, uh, of the NAT rule, you have to specify pre-NAT destination zone. Okay, so if you want to configure access from trust to untrust, access policy will be from trust to untrust. NAT policy will be exactly the same from trust zone to untrust zone. If you want to specify, uh, if you want to configure uh, access from untrust to your web server which is located on your trust zone you need to configure access policy from untrust to trust or maybe it's the yes in this case it's uh, trust or in this case it's a uh, DMZ but uh, not policy will be from untrust to untrust because the IP address, destination IP address is the on untrust interface and that happens after that at the end of the uh, chain okay so if you want to get access, I'll repeat that so if you want to configure access from internet to your web server on trust so you need to specify access policy from untrust to trust but NAT from untrust to untrust. Okay. If you want to configure access policy for your web server in DMZ, so it should be from untrust to DMZ, but NAT will be the same from untrust to untrust. No matter uh, because IP address, as I said, it's on untrust interface public IP address. Okay, there is another one uh, NAT process which is called as U-turn NAT. When you configure access from your local host to your internal uh, resources, but uh, the IP address uh, via DNS you get the public of this server, not the private one. And what happened? Uh, the traffic going to Palo Alto and then it returns to web server and then it returns back to the client. To configure this uh, NAT you need to do these things. First, access rule are not required because they are in the same uh, zone and by default, remember that by default intra-zone traffic is permitted but if you want to configure access uh, but natural will be from trust to untrust yes that is correct because the pre-NAT IP address in the IP packet will be going to outside interface and then it returns back so Destination zone for NAT rule will be from trust to untrust. Okay, so, but what will happen in this case? First, look here. Tri initial packet will go to Palo Alto Firewall, NATed, and then going to web server, and from web server going to the client. And there is no uh, three way handshake. So, two solve this issue you need to do source NAT as well let's say to the interface the internal interface of Palo Alto Firewall don't forget this okay so next is more uh, a little bit more simple uh, you need to configure access to web server in your DMZ so the tr uh, exactly the same situation you need to configure access from your trust to untrust because the distant uh, remember that web server via DNS returns sorry 
uh, DNS returns public IP address of the web server, not the private one. And then uh, when we go into Palo Alto Firewall, it should go here, not here. So from access policy, for access policy, you need to configure access from trust to DMZ. But NAT will be this exactly the same as I did before, from trust to untrust. Uh, and in this case, you don't need to configure source NAT because there will be uh, no chance for uh, asynchronous packet flow. So here is most a little bit more simple configuration. And uh, I want to, you to look into website uh, on falloutnetworks.com where you can find all this document. I'll put the link uh, uh, to this document which I used for explanation to the description of the video and you will see the same document and I hope it will help you. Thank you for viewing. If you have any question, uh, questions, I'm happy to answer that and uh, I'm really happy for new ideas, for new video. You're welcome. Thank you very much and all the best with Palo Alto Firewalls.